In het Academisch Cultureel Centrum Spui in Amsterdam werd een debat georganiseerd over Berbers, cultuur, taal, religie en emancipatie in Marokko. Gastsprekers zijn Moa Enaji en Fatima Sadiki van de Universiteit van Fes in Marokko. Het debat werd voorgezeten door Karen Vintjes van de Universiteit van Amsterdam en co-referent Abderrahman El Asati van de Universiteit van Tilburg hield een inleiding over de stand van zaken wat betreft Berbers in Nederland. So we'll be talking about multiculturalism from the Muslim world, from Moroccan con- the Moroccan context. Multiculturalism in the Muslim world has become a topic of major concern in the Middle East and North Africa. There is a lot of interest today in democracy in Islamic societies and Muslim scholars in the region are working hard to consolidate democracy and multiculturalism. So Muslim scholars view Islam as compatible with multiculturalism and democracy. It is mentioned in the Quran, for example, that uh, which means that public affairs are a matter of consultation among them. Another citation from the Quran, we have created you as peoples and tribes to know each other. So pluralism was advocated and practiced arduously by the Prophet Muhammad. The most pivotal example of uh, pluralism is reflected in the charter or constitution of Medina, Sahifat al Medina, which was drafted in 622 by the Prophet Muhammad. And in this constitution, uh, it is mentioned that Muslims, Jews, and pagans are protected and live together in peace. In the constitution, also, it was established that uh, there, there will be guarantee of freedoms of speech of religion, security, a tax system, a, judi- a judicial system that protected minorities and protected people f- of different faiths and allowed Muslims, Jews and Christians and pagans to live together in peace. Muslims throughout the world have contributed to democracy and have fought to impose democracy in their own societies. I can mention a few names, for example, al Halaj, Mansour al Halaj was a legendary Iranian Sufi, great poet of the 9th century, who, was, who felt one with God, and he once said, An al-haq, I am the truth, meaning I am God, and for this people were offended, and he paid for, uh, by his life. Another one, Qasim Amin, an Egyptian scholar and jurist, one of the founders of Egyptian national movement. He also uh, was uh, very, he's very well known for his feminist attitude because he wrote a book that, uh, called or titled The Liberation of Women. And this book had a great impact on the feminist movement in Egypt and the Muslim world. Another one, Mohammed Al Al Fesi from Morocco, who is a politician, a poet, and writer, an Islamic scholar who fought against French colon- colonialism and who uh, also wrote about reforming Islam. So today, across the Muslim world, uh, minorities uh, you know, are fighting for freedom, for more freedom, fighting for more equality, for rights. And one can mention, for example, the case of Kurds in the Middle East, the Copts in Egypt, and the Amazighs in North Africa. So Morocco has been able to smoothly achieve significant, significant progress towards the revival and the preservation of the Amazigh culture and the integration of the Amazigh population in public life and in social development. Of course, these transformations are far from uniform, and there are signs that there is a slow pace of change, and which is trying now beginning to exacerbate the Amazigh activists. And uh, we can say that the story of the Amazigh project in Morocco and the challenges uh, it has faced from politicians, parents, uh, civil society, even Amazigh natives, is in many ways symbolic of the struggle uh, Morocco is facing as it tries to satisfy or balance the competing interests of a multicultural country of over 30 million. So before ending, I would like to say a word. Multiculturalism 
has tolerance of differences, respect of the other, coexistence of different faiths and religions and languages and cultures can survive only in democracy. This is also the idea of Fukuyama, who says that only democracies can uh, you know, protect diversity in the same manner opposition and differences of opinion can survive side by side with the majority, with the dominant group in democracies. 